Hey there, it's Laura here from I Heart Planners, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a desktop background for your computer that looks pretty and helps you get your files on your desktop organized um, using a free tool. So I actually shared a tutorial about this some time ago using PicMonkey, but PicMonkey unfortunately is no longer free. And so I want to show you how to do this using Canva, which does still have a free version. I do have the paid version, so a couple things will be a little different, but you should be able to follow along just fine, even if you're only using the free version of Canva. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So all I have done is gone to canva.com and logged in. I believe um, even to use the free version, you will need to create an account. Uh, but it's super easy you just put in your email address, create a password, and then you'll be taken to the screen and you'll see all these things down here are things I've already created. So you won't probably have that when you, um, if you're brand new to Canva. Now, um, they give you a lot of size options here, but to create a desktop background, we want to click use custom dimensions and put in our own dimensions for the size of our own desktop. Now, if you're not sure what the size of your desktop is and you want it in pixels, um, what I did is I just Googled it. I said, what's the size in pixels of a 27 inch iMac screen? And what I got was 2560 by 1440. So Google your specific computer to see what your specific dimensions are or use these if you have a 27 inch iMac. Um, that way it'll cover the whole screen and be the perfect size for you. So you just click design and we are ready to go. Uh, the first thing that I would like to do is cover the entire back um, in a color. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this uh, square. Okay, so you'll see it automatically put it on there. Um, then as I drag over, it's actually like lining up with the sides perfectly for me. And then I'm just going to drag this way and I want it to fill the entire screen. It's okay that it's um, actually kind of spilling off the screen down there. No worries. Um, it won't save anything over the size that I have picked. Um, I actually do like this color, but if you uh, did not want that color and you wanted a different color, all you do is you click on it and if you see where it's kind of showing a sample of that color there, you can pick other colors. So these are default colors. You can add another palette. Um, and this is something, the palettes are something that are unique to the paid version of Canva. So if you're on the free, you won't see that. However, you should still be able um, to use this right here and enter a hex code if you know what it is or just play around with this and kind of come up with any color that you want. Uh, but let, let's go ahead and just use um, one of their default colors. All right, now we have our background and what I um, like to do is kind of have a, a rectangle on the side for um, anything that is in progress. So I'm going to just drag another one of these over and um, you, I'm just going to size it to about like this. Now this is not the color <laughs> that I want, um, but this will just get us um, idea. And then um, I'm going to change the color to white. So if you scroll down, that should be a default. So the next thing that I like to do um, is I like to make this white color a little bit transparent. So you can just change the transparency up there. And I think it looks kind of nice. Um, I just, yeah, about there. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see what looks good. Um, but I like a semi-transparent. And then you can add text, um, all this different text here to give your label your categories. So um, I might add, like, I kind of like this text. Um, and you can see as you drag over, it's like automatically centering it, which I think is amazing. And then I'm going to say, um, so, oops, work in progress. Um, okay, make sure it's still centered. Um, and then I'm going to change the color of the text, I would like it to be white. 
Um, and then I can add a couple of other things. I'm going to actually move this up a little bit. I think it looks better up a little bit. Move this up and then I'm going to add a, another one of these. So what I did was I clicked on it and I um, clicked Alt as I was Alt or Option and drag it over as I'm clicking so that it's making a copy of it. And then I'm going to actually make that like smaller. Then I'm also going to just go ahead and make a copy of, whoops, uh, you need to hold down the alt, whoops, hold down the alt key before you start dragging, uh, before you click your mouse, and then let go of your mouse, and then let go of the alt key. That's um, an important order. So I'm going to do um, photos. Okay, so then I'm going to copy this, again, holding down alt. There are other ways to copy, I, that's just the way I prefer, and I love how it helps you line things up. Um, then I'm going to copy the photos word. Um, and then you can also add uh, decorative items. So like there's all this different kind of artwork. So like, um, if you wanted to add these people, like you could add these types of images. Um, I'm just to show you an example of how you would do that. Um, so you could add, you could actually um, add your own photo um, if you want to do something like that. I'm going to delete that. I just wanted to show it as an example. Um, a lot of these are free, which is pretty cool. Um, Those are all photos. They also have illustrations here, which are, um, they look like this, they're obviously not photos, but they have quite a few of those. Um, I like, I kind of think the hearts are cute, or <laughs> you can resize these so you don't have to keep them so cute. Um, like if, if you like dogs or if you just want like a flower, maybe I'm just going to put a flower. So there's lots of options. Um, you can also change the colors of this artwork. So if I wanted like this pink to be, um, say blue, and then I can make it like both of it the same color, like kind of like that. Um, like there's an example of how you would do that. So you can see how you could just kind of play around, um, make whatever you want um, and really organize your desktop and then I would drag like anything I'm working on, any um, photos I'm working on, any notes that I want to like reference um, would go there. So I really hope that helps give you an idea of how you can create your own desktop background.